This is my friend. I call him Johnny Cash. He's a French Angora. And you can see his fiber is very long. I'll show you what a piece of it looks like if you just pull out a swatch. Now, French Angoras, their fiber just comes right out. They just shed much the way that a dog would shed. And to prepare for grooming my bunny, I have all of my supplies right here at hand, a bunch of grooming tools. And I have two buckets, one for the good fiber and one for the fiber that's all matted up, that's not so good. And I'm going to start by showing you how to groom the bunny if you did not have a lot of mats <clears throat> on your rabbit. On Johnny, his backside, pardon me, <coughs> his backside does not have a lot of mats. So I'm going to turn him around so that you can see how I work on his backside. Now, what I do, is I hold the bunny kind of close to me. Sometimes I pinch their face a little bit with my elbow. So that helps them feel secure. And I start in the back, and you can see he's got some debris in here. I'm going to use a slicker brush like this one to get that debris out. And this is not really to groom the fiber so much as just to get this funny organic matter out of here because I don't want that in my finished fiber. Now when I'm brushing him, I'm not touching his skin because this would kind of scrape his skin if I did that. I'm going to toss that stuff away. And now I'm going to start by, see how I pulled up all this long fiber and I'm going up underneath? Now, some people, in order to get to this fiber that's underneath the bunny, they will put them on a table or even sometimes use a stanchion, which holds them down, in order to get into these more sensitive places. I don't like to do that because I feel like it's kind of traumatizing to the bunnies. And I like to think about how they would be handled, how they would handle each other in the wild. And in the wild, they would groom each other. They'd lick each other and nuzzle each other's noses and things like that. And it would be a pretty normal action for them to sort of snuggle up against the other bunny like this. And maybe to even kind of get up under here and do some grooming. So that's what I'm going to do, just the way another bunny might do with Johnny Cash. So I'm going to start by using this comb and I'm just going to be kind of pulling down a sort of a layer of fiber at a time. Now there's some significant mats here right around his foot and I'm going to actually go back for those mats because right now I just want to show you how to groom them if it's if it's all pretty easy. So I'm holding this fiber up and I'm just pulling down a little layer at a time. Now this comb that I'm using, it's a nice, big, wide tooth comb. You can get this through a fiber art supply store. <clears throat> and what's good about it is that it separates the hair apart and it kind of pulls the mats out. And then the hair kind of sticks to itself with static cling and so it allows you to start kind of gathering up more and more hair. Now when I come across these small mats like this, I don't pull very hard because I don't want him to feel any discomfort. So if I see a significant mat like in here, I try to pull it like that. See how that one's coming out real easy because the fiber that it's attached to is ready to come out. So I can just pull that right out real easy. See those big mats? And I toss those in my throw away. And then most of this fiber that's left on my comb, there's some little chunks in there, but that's okay. I'm going to throw that in my usable stuff, and I'll, I'll pick the chunks out before I spin it, before I put it on the carter. So I'm just going to continue to pull down a little bit of hair at a time, combing right through it. <clears throat> See how that just pulls out real nice? It just comes out real natural, just the way a dog would shed. And you can see he gets a little jumpy when I get real close to his skin. You see how his skin shakes a little when I touch it? He's kind of a young bunny. He's really only been groomed about twice, about two times really significantly. 
And even though he's really nervous, he stays pretty calm because I've got him kind of pinched up over here with my arm. I'm just kind of holding him like this. And that makes him feel really secure. So what I would do is I would go along his whole body in this manner, holding the fiber back, pulling a little fiber down at a time until I have gone all the way through and gotten all the major tangles out. So here's some of his lovely fiber. I'm gonna put that in my usable fiber bucket and I'm going to say goodbye for now and you can look for video number two where I'll show you how to deal with mats.